Hi, everybody. Dr. Kogan, Medical Director, Center for Integrative Medicine. Welcome back to YouTube channel. So I just want to briefly review the study that just came out a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and walk you through this. So this is the largest available um, perspective analysis of patients who have had a risk of Alzheimer's disease in the um, what's called the APOE4 genetic category. APOE4 is the most common genetic variation, increasing risk of Alzheimer's quite highly. If you have two copies of APOE4, uh, you are running a risk uh, nearly 50% or even more, depending on different studies. So the question here, if you engage in six healthy um, activities, uh, such as quitting smoking, vigorous uh, exercise, for um, regular exercise, good diet, good social activity or social contacts and cognitive training. Uh, what is the uh, effect of that over a prolonged period of time uh, to be exact 10 years? This is Chinese study, it was uh, funded by the Chinese government. And I'm just gonna jump right to this um, just to uh, show you the results. Um, so as you see, each group had a very large number of patients. The total number of participants is almost 30,000. Um, and the risk of APOE4 in this particular group was 20%, which is probably about the average, uh, maybe a little bit higher compared to US population. So you see, again, as I mentioned, this were the six healthy activities. And the way they divided the patients in this category is they put them into what called an unfavorable. So they would only either follow none whatsoever, no recommendations, or just one, two to three, which is average and favorable, four to six factors. And uh, the findings are pretty dramatic. So if you look at patients who do not have Alzheimer's disease, uh, who do not have Alzheimer's risk factor, meaning APOE4, you can see that the favorable versus average versus unfavorable had a very large chances of slowing down uh, a rate of progression or rate of uh, appearance of cognitive decline. And what's really important that in APOE4, the decrease in risk was basically identical when pe people were engaging in this healthy, act healthy um, habits the risk of decrease of chance of developing Alzheimer's or developing cognitive impairment was nearly identical to the patients who did not have APOE4. So in summary, if you're practicing these activities, you're going to see a, a pretty significant impact of them. Start early. Yes, these patients, participants in this study were over age of 60, but what we know from prior studies, the sooner you start, the better. What does that mean? If you have any chances of having APOE4, any of your relatives <clears throat> had an Alzheimer's disease, you have a, a, a very high cholesterol and high inflammation, get yourself checked for APOE4. It is fully covered test by every insurance. And as you can see, it will dramatically alter your chances of developing Alzheimer's disease. And to finalize and for full disclosure, of course, this is not a causality study, just like many prior, but this is currently the best data we have. In order for this to be done even better, you would have to do a lot more aggressive randomization forward. You will have to control for all kinds of variables. It's physically going to be extremely difficult to do because you have to do it for a long time. The strength of this study, it was a 10-year perspective cohort. I don't expect that we will have a better data anytime soon. So please take this seriously. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.